Hello, welcome to Chapter 8 Technology Forecasting. I am Safika and this is our group. Hi, my name is Nurul Najee. Hi, uh, I am Nurul Najee. Hi, I am Hi, my name is Julia Sinyar Miami. Hi, I'm Nur Adina Binti Norizai. Hi, I'm Nur Jana Jawa uh, Let's begin our class. Yes, I'm Eko and hi. Uh, we are from Group Adopt. Today, we will present about technology forecasting. Okay, for your information, technology forecasting is a process of predicting future technology characteristics when to build to enhance profitability. Okay, uh, technology forecasting model have three steps. First is input. Second is processes. And the third is output. Okay, for example, is we choose a robotic vacuum. Okay, the input is what is the problem arise. Okay, for example, we choose the robotic vacuum. So the problem is the housewife is hard to do the course. Uh, and then the, the process is we using the technology development to enhance the robotic vacuum and the output is the robotic vacuum. Okay, this is the performance technology, uh, this is the technology forecasting performance graph. Okay, when the graph is show the performance is going up, that means that your forecast is good. But when your graph show that it's going down, that means that your forecast is going to fail. Okay, the point is the performance of the organization after the forecast is depend on how well your forecast processes are. Okay, that's all from technology forecaster model. I will pass to my friends. There are several characteristics of good forecasting. First is credible. <coughs> Convincing enough so that other people in the organization will not go against the forecasting idea. Second is accurate. Uh, third is method must be clearly explained. For the, uh, for the method, the explanation of the forecasting such as problems, objectives, process should be presented in detail so that there will be no confusion throughout the process of forecasting. Next, assumption must be defined and supported. For, for fifth, must be quantitative if possible, and lastly, confident with the forecasted result. Technology forecasting process. For the first process is make specification of forecasting. For short term forecasting, for example, forecasting for five years in present light driverless car. In this short term forecasting, division on investment should be made highlighting the areas of technology that they wanted to achieve and in this case, the area is high technology car manufacturing. For the midterm forecasting, for example, forecasting for 5 to 10 years ahead such as mass marketed buying taxi cars. In this midterm forecasting, there will be some gap in getting information on the forecasting as the information are collected from ongoing research and technology trends. And for the last is long term for for long term forecasting. For example, forecasting for even a deeper future such as non existence of car ownership. This kind of forecasting would bring up a great uncertainty of future, but at the same time it will be one of the disruptive technologies that might create a new market and value. For the for the second process is identify environmental variables or factor. For the first factor is technological. R&D expenditure, the number of researchers, lab or machinery endowment, process level of basic research, knowledge sharing facilities and others. For example, for chemical forecasting technology, chemical lab is must to make sure the process is going well. For the second is social. For the social, interaction with users, education, learning, social rules, desire for quality of life and chain orientation. For the third is economic. For the economic, venture capital financial, and entrepreneurial spirit, wide consumption, past investment in S&T, intensity of competition, innovators among consumers. Next is for quality goal legal. 
For a factor is tax loss, intellectual property right, and patent protection incentive for technological achievement. For the third process is select data resources. There are two data sources for forecasting, which are statistical data and expert opinion. Okay, for the first, I will explain about characteristic of statistical data. For the first, currency where the data should be sufficiently current and latest one. Next, completeness where the data should be complete enough to go on with the forecasting. For the third is potential bias where should be not be a huge use bias on the data choosing and collection. For next, gathering technique, which the technique should use in gathering data will influence the content of the result. And last is, lastly, relevancy, where the data should be relevant or aligned to the outcome, outcome of the forecast. Okay, next, I will explain about the expert, expert opinion. For the, for the first characteristic is the qualification of the expert which the, which the expert that we wanted to extract the data should, from should be qualified enough, enough which is mean they have to be related knowledge to the forecast. Next, bias where the opinion of the expert might be create bias according to the, their real belief and personality. And next, and lastly, for the balance where opinion of expert are varying from each other or in short, they have multidisciplinary viewpoint. Okay, now I will proceed with um, forecasting technique, which is have two methods, which are um, exploratory method and normative method. First, I will explain about exploratory method first. Okay, exploratory method is to predict the state of, um, the state of technology areas uh, in the future. It is used when situation is bold and a little data exists. It, uh, it involves uh, intuition, uh, experience, and asking. Um, exploratory methods have four techniques, which are trend analysis, expert opinion, Delphi technique, and scenario planning. Um, expert opinion involves of a small group of high-level experts and managers. And it also used when we, uh, when managers uh, when organization are lacking of data. Delphi technique is used uh, is used uh, for uh, as an expert asking the question repeatedly until the solution has come, and to arrive consensus in a uncertain area. The scenario planning is a what if analysis. Uh, in simulation model, it tests and evaluate what strategy are the best. Okay, now I will explain about trend analysis. There are three concepts of trend. Uh, now I will draw irregular variation trend. Uh, this is how irregular variation look like. Okay, this is the peak of irregular variation trends, which is uh, caused by unusual sequences. This is um, wave cycle trends. Okay, the wave cycle trend is um, like variation of more than one year duration. And for the and for the seasonal variation trend, it is like this. This is seasonal variation trend um, to uh, in short term regular variation on data. Um, the trend analysis is uh, long term movement on data. Trend analysis use mathematical and technical and and technical and statistical technique to extend time during the duration. This trend analysis um, is long term movement. Uh, in data and also use mathematic, mathematical and statistical technique um, to extend time series data in futures. Okay, now I will explain about normative method. Normative method is determined process of action uh, to achieve a postulated futures uh, state. 
for example Disney. Disney focusing on creating uh, more immersive and more seamless and, and more personal experience each and every guest. Okay, um, for the meta approach, it used when we have the current technology, uh, historical data exists and using numbers. Okay, uh, under normative method, uh, um, normative method have uh, one technique which is uh, cross impact analysis. Cross impact analysis is conducted uh, to predict promising uh, technology over time. And when problem is one is close to one, uh, the impact the impact column will be big. Step five, use by application. Integrate forecast result into your plan for the creation of the new venture. This will probably concern resource level and availability and sales forecast. Step 6. Undertake review. Follow the progress of the forecast by making a comparison between actual and result of forecast. If and when a gap appear, it is time for another forecast beginning at step 1 and make spe specification of forecast. Technology discontinuity. According to Queen, which been quoted on the year of 1992, accelerating technological discontinuity as well as decreasing technology cycle will intensify competition. Company will either remain or neglect the technology before it becomes obsolete. It, is, it also be used to decide whether the company should invest or own other company that is capable of creating this emerging technology. For example, the discontinuity of technology is being faced by Blockbuster, which is gone under bankruptcy and being replaced by Netflix. Border, which also under bankruptcy due, due to technology discontinuity and being replaced by Amazon. To summarize this topic, technology forecasting help managers in improving decision making by providing knowledge of future change and provide basis for planning but still it depends on the duration, technology nature and the technology characteristic and the probability. Forecasting has been gained significant in this knowledge era and it continues to be an important function in technology management of organizations.